What an amazing journey these two children have taken. Cared for in an orphanage and then given the opportunity for adoption and then access to this life-saving therapy at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital Oakland. That's not a common story. So your munching is quite loud. <laughs> We just are a regular family. We have four children. Ada is the youngest. She's nine. She was a surprise, the best surprise. So how exactly did you get to meet me? Well, our adoption agency called. There was a little girl who needed a family and she also had beta thalassemia, just like our daughter Lily. She told us all about you and she sent us your picture. And we were like, oh my goodness, she is so adorable. And it was like the perfect last piece to our puzzle. puzzle. Mm -hmm. Beta thalassemia major is a rare disease, but I like to characterize it as one of the least rare of the rare disorders. It's inherited from parents who carry the trait condition. What it does is cause a defect in the production of hemoglobin. So without hemoglobin, there is no life. A person with transfusion-dependent thalassemia receives transfusions every three to four weeks to keep the hemoglobin at a level that is both safe and reduces the stress on the body caused by anemia. It can be intense at times. Even though thalassemia is very manageable, um, there's a lot of risks. The gold standard for a cure of thalassemia is to perform a bone marrow transplant. But unfortunately, most children with thalassemia don't have a brother, sister, or, who are matched. Gene therapy is a way to use one's own stem cells as the donor. The advantage is that you will not reject your own cells. We decided that we wanted to learn more about gene therapy, and so became an active leader in the clinical trials leading to FDA approval. We had kind of seen the trial moving forward and we did try to get in, but it was full, which was okay. Two of our really dear friends were accepted into the trial and we got to watch them be healed. And when the girls came home, that really wasn't even on our radar. We didn't think that that would be a possibility. We were delighted by the results. 90% of the time, the treatment was a success in that we were able to stop transfusions permanently and having hemoglobin at near healthy levels. It begins with harvesting some of the blood stem cells in the body. We ship those cells to a manufacturing facility where they carry out the gene therapy reaction. Those cells, which are then frozen, are shipped back to us in Oakland where we thaw them at the bedside and give them just like a blood transfusion. Once it dives into the, one of the chromosomes of that cell, it begins to make healthy globin that becomes hemoglobin. So the purpose of the gene therapy is to introduce healthy copy of the globin gene in a blood stem cell that's the mother or seed cell that gives rise to all of the blood in our circulation and remake the blood system so that instead of not making hemoglobin, now it makes gobs of hemoglobin and you can stop the transfusions. We're just really hopeful that the outcome allows Ada and her sister to be transfusion independent for the rest of their lives. Yeah, what's Lily like? She's calm, and the rest of us are pretty crazy. Being able to cure some of the children who inherit these disorders, curing a child with thalassemia so they never have to receive blood transfusions again, wow, I can feel really good about that, having done that a few times.